Okay, this is just a quick video. Hopefully my printers in the background are not too noisy to kind of hear me. Um, but I have a clog because I kept printing nylon and it kept clogging. And FYI, it's because it was full of moisture and it keeps clogging like that. Um, as soon as I removed the moisture and a dehydrator, it, this problem went away, but it kept clogging. And uh, I had a, a method different from what uh, I've seen online of fixing because it's a little quicker for me. But uh, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but I would just like to quickly show you um, on Bam Bamboo's wiki, they have a great section on clogs, how to identify clogs, um, and what you can do in different cases. Uh, and very often, if it's a clog in the nozzle, they tell you to heat up an Allen key and push it right through. Because if there's a clog here and it's stuck, the filament's stuck in here, then they want you to push it through with a hot Allen key, right? And there's actually even a really nifty 3D printed tool you can have here that can lock into here and you can shove that line key down to get rid of the that, that clog. Um, so I didn't do this. Uh, this is what I did right here. And to back up, here is a piece of nylon stuck in the hot end. Um, and I could shove it through with the island key, but I, this kept happening to me. I just, what I did is I, as you can see, actually, it's uh, um, this is the other end of the filament. It, it uh, semi-melted and then stopped extruding. Um, so I heated up the key, I shoved it in there, I blew on it to cool it down after a few seconds, and then I just pulled it out, and it pulls out real easy. I don't have to force this down arduously, so it's just a, a slightly better method in my books, but I, but they do at your own risk. Um, but I found that much easier. And uh, and the rest of the video will just be showing you uh, an actual video of me doing this. Um, so hopefully it uh, uh, that this method might work for you guys. You could try, of course, first to unclog it with this. You could try an atomic pull. I haven't done the atomic pull before on this machine. Um, uh, in this case, uh, I already know I got some nylon uh, stuck right here. <clears throat> if you open this up, it's stuck right there. Um, it's There's nothing wrong with the extruder. Of course, you could get filament stuck in the extruder, and that's pretty hefty to, to deal with because you have to take this out, remove the wiring, take the three screws out of here, remove the... Oops, sorry remove the um, <clears throat> uh, PTF tube and then actually take this out and then open it up and maybe remove any um, congestion in here. But for me, um, you know, it I, I could see it feed all the way down into here and then it just starts uh, grinding. It's um, So I'm just going to open up and take a look <clears throat> what's going on in here and then uh, remove the, um, the blockage from, from this end hopefully. Okay, so here um, it is. I'm just uh, slowly disassembling this. It's you know not as bad as you would think when I first saw videos about how to change the hot end and everything. It, it, I mean, it is uh, it is a certain amount of work, but it's not too complicated. It's not that hard. Um, so I already took off the cover, and then you basically remove these screws here. Oh gosh. And this will pop out. They advise you to remove these wires, but in this case, I don't think I need to do that. <clears throat> I am going to inspect this. Uh, okay, actually, they just slide out. Oh, gotta be careful about that. And uh, this should just come off down here like this. And now we can take a look at this, and um, you can always remove this extruder by removing these three screws in there. And then you can just push this down and pull this out you know, if you want to disassemble this, because if you get filament stuck in here, you might have to, that, that, that would be quite arduous, try getting filament out of here. Um, there is a tutorial on the uh, Bamboo Wiki on how to do that. It looks That does look a little crazy, but this, this part's not too hard to take off, you know, just take off the cover. Take off these screws, uh, you know, remove this. I mean, this one screw here. And if you really want to, you can remove these wires here. Okay. As mentioned, just heating this up to 250. So this is uh, 
cotton fiber nylon off again try and carefully not burn myself and try and remove this oh. Yeah, it's not, it's not easy to get, so I'm going to heat this up, prod it in again, and melt it and pull it out carefully. I don't recommend this, it's just what I'm doing right now, and I think it will work. Melting. And let it cool. Okay. Start. Okay. Two. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Now I don't. I don't want this to be spinning and wreck the blade of the fan, so I'm going to turn this off and carefully put it back. Okay, so another quick video on, uh, not, not quite a clog, but extruder uh, blockage. So, um, yeah, it was, it was saying that it could not retract the, the filament. Um, I thought there was a blockage or something going on, but there was nothing, I couldn't visibly see anything here in the uh, extruder. Nevertheless, I like uh, turned it off and I um, uh, took out these two screws to remove the hot end. There's, I can see there was nothing in there, um, and I, I couldn't see anything in here. But nevertheless, I just got uh, another piece of filament. I pulled off the PTF tube, and I just like forced this down gently. And you, if you can see that the gears will move, and and it didn't it didn't go through uh, without resistance. So then I was like, oh, something might, might actually be there. And I kept pushing it through, and basically, it's, it's not this piece, but this is kind of like a simulation because I threw it away. Um, so a small piece like this actually came out that was stuck right in where the, I guess, uh, above the gears, it couldn't go anymore, had broken off, um, and so that was one issue. And uh, so that was it, I just used this little thing to push through it. I didn't need to dissemble this or anything, which is great, and that's that. Okay, and that's it, I should be able to get back printing, and uh, yeah, just uh, I can't say this is a necessarily a good or the best method, just the method that works for me. Hopefully, it's uh, helpful to some of uh, some of you out there. Um, but yeah, do it at your own risk. Okay. All right. Thank you.